Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. We are here for a full moon reading. There is a full moon tomorrow. So things are spicing up and we are feeling this big time. This full moon is bringing clarity to situations that we've been in for a long period of time. And maybe people in our lives, we're just starting to like, see like, wow, I'm throwing my energy into something that is no longer serving me, or I am putting energy towards a project that I don't really want to do anymore. And it's starting to become clearer and clearer. Uh, there might be new people coming into your life too. Um, I got a download today on my walk that, um, yeah, that there might be um, just new people coming in and spicing things up. It could be friends, soul tribe, but just this energy of newness, even though this is a full moon and not a new moon, it's almost like the energy of new clarity, new people, new things, new opportunities. So be a yes guy and a yes girl. We're going to open up some sacred space here. We're going to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my man, Mike, my man, Meta. Please only allow the highest and whitest light messages to come through. I just recently read or listened to two different books. The first book was called Manifestation Mastery by Christina Rice. I had my human design chart reading done by Kelly Rowland. This was last year, maybe even a year and a half ago. Um, and lately I've been gifting them to friends and family just so they can get to know themselves better. But um, during my reading, Kelly um, kind of introduced me to Christina Rice, who wrote Manifestation Mastery. And I've been following her for so long. And she's just, I'm very much so in alignment with her. She has a YouTube channel called Christina the Channel, but her book is amazing. She channeled it from a higher her higher being that she connects with called the monarch being. And I believe they showed her an M um, during like when she first started to connect to the monarch being. Um, and then she labeled, they gave her the name monarch. So she channeled the book in like three days. How freaking cool is that? Her guides told her to put aside two different weekends to write the book. She knew a year in advance that she was eventually going to write a book. Um, but she set aside two weekends and she literally wrote it in like all together, like three days. And it's all about manifestation. So you have to go read it. You got to go listen to it on Audible. It is amazing. She gives you so much information. Um, and honestly, I was listening, going like, this is inspiration for me. Like, I want to write a book one day about this stuff. I want to write about my story, how I found, how I tapped in, how um, I found my gifts and how I'm sharing them and how I'm helping other clients and maybe my client stories. I would love to just write a book about all the magic that's happened in my life. Um, and even just like synchronistic things that are happening in my day-to-day -day life which is manifestation. We're constantly co-creating. So maybe that's on, maybe that's the next thing for me. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I, I read that book or listened to it in a matter of like two days. It was incredible. So go do that. But the energy for this full moon is all about co-creating a better reality for ourselves, becoming more clear, new people arriving, cutting cords with anything that does not serve you. Um, I've been feeling this itch every time I would go to post on my Patreon, I just felt like it was a tug on my heart. Like it's something I have to do. And for me at this stage in my life, there's nothing that I do that I have to do. I am living each day in complete joy and happiness. So now when something pulls on my energy in a weird way, it's so clear. I'm having clarity about that. I think I might like close out my Patreon page. But a little piece of me likes that little nook of privacy where I can share with just that community. But then as I'm posting there, I'm like, I feel bad only sharing this here when I should be sharing this with everybody. So it almost feels like a seclusion in a way. Um, and I think that's why I don't like it. I think that makes me feel like I should just share everything everywhere and not charge. And, um, you know, the universe will pay my bills in other ways. So that's my feeling for this uh, full moon. Um, I'm not sure if it relates to you guys. So let's open up sacred space. Um, it's already open, but let's see what cards come through. I'm being guided to use. I just had like three different decks run through my mind. So let me just take a minute to feel into what they want me to use. Okay. They just showed me the Archangel deck. 
It's a brand new Archangel deck. It's called Archangel Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. Okay, first one. Archangel Hope. Look for a cosmic gift. Remember, you deserve it. Okay, I'm going to read this to you guys because anytime I get a new deck of cards, I always, always read from the book to learn about the cards. This is how I tap in and how you guys can tap in to see if any messages come through as you're reading. This says, Archangel Hope, <laughs> wow, is the twin flame of Archangel Gabriel. She carries divine feminine energy and has her etheric retreat above Malaysia. She is always seen in glowing rainbow light. As her name suggests, she brings hope at the end of a challenging experience. You guys just, we just got this card for the full moon. It's an end of a challenging experience. It could be twin flame energy. Maybe a twin flame is coming into your life and it's your rainbow after the storm. It says, as her name suggests, she brings hope at the end of a challenging experience. She offers new opportunities, inspiration, gifts, and happiness to those who are ready for the next step. A rainbow is a potent or is a, a portent, a portent, I don't know what that word means, P-O-R-T-E-N-T, -E or promise that you are due to receive a reward. Under cosmic law, if your heart leaps with joy and gratitude when you see this glorious arc of radiant color, the universe opens a new door for you. Your expression of delight is the key that turns the lock and Archangel Hope activates this for you. She will also shine light onto your path. Incredible. A rainbow is going, when you see a rainbow, that is saying a new door is opening for you. And I was just, remember earlier, like two minutes ago, I was just saying that this, this full moon feels like a new moon to me. It feels like there's new energy, new people coming in. And then we get the Archangel of Hope saying, literally look for a gift. It's saying your manifestations are arriving. Get excited. It says the guidance. This card brings the promise of a reward or gift from the universe. This may be something tangible or easing, the easing of a situation, a new friendship, love, or success. It may even come in the form of an unexpected opportunity or something your heart has long desired. Archangel Hope is bringing forward the fresh and unexpected for you. I am beaming right now. I love this card for all of you guys. You have to report back and comment below and let me know what miracle happens this month or this week or even just this weekend because the full moon's tomorrow and this is saying there's a rainbow coming. So I'm dying to know what this means for all of you and I'll report back and let you know what happens in my life. Okay, so let's get further. Let's get some more messages about this full moon. I'm gonna use the Rider Waite Tarot. And I just heard my guide say, we picked that, we made you pick that because it matches your outfit. We're going with the all white theme today. I don't know, it feels like a marriage theme. I'm wearing all white. I have my white jeans on. I have my white blanket over here for some reason. I just feel very pure. I feel like there's a pure energy with this full moon. Like it's new, it's pure, it's, it's real. It's not a karmic energy. It's meant to be. And I even have my white heart. <gasps> Whoa. I have my heart earrings and they have little key locks on them. Do you guys remember me reading the Archangel of Hope card? It talked about the key unlocking the door. <laughs> My guides are so cool. I love when they match things to my clothing. I love you all so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, I feel like they're hugging me right now so tight. I literally like want to cry. Sorry guys. They're making me feel how some of you guys are going to feel when your rainbow finally arrives. It's going to feel so good. You deserve it. Ah, 
I am so happy for somebody out there. Somebody out there, you guys are going to be on your knees crying because you're going to feel so much relief and happiness and freedom and joy and love. They're, the words are just booming right now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we just got the emperor card. So somebody's going to have love coming and knocking on their door. The emperor is the divine masculine. <laughs> wow. And the six of pentacles. Two, yep. Wow. This is usually somebody coming back from your past or somebody coming back around or somebody apologizing. Um Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just said that. That's the six of cups. Six of pentacles is giving and receiving. Sorry guys, my, my mind. But again, like when I say things like that, then sometimes I feel like it's meant to be, but this card is giving and receiving. I don't know why I was totally looking past this. It's equal give and take. It's going to be a partnership. If this is what's coming in right now, I still can't believe I just was crying that hard and now I'm fine. Man, I felt so tapped into that energy. Like I felt so loved. I felt like there was arms around me. I felt like somebody like a masculine energy was just loving on me so much. Um, but yeah, this energy is like a, an equal give and take relationship. Whatever you give is what you're getting back. And you might get back more than you give because you're worthy of it. <sighs> love this energy so much let's do an animal card yeah my body feels so powerful right now i can't even describe what it feels like somebody's taking their mask off they're fine their mask was their ego they weren't seeing clearly they couldn't see you maybe they didn't know it was you all along and it's like wow you were right in front of me and I didn't see it all this time. And the mask coming off represents an awakening. So somebody going through this wake up, like, wait, why didn't I see you before? Like why? And I've been through that in my life where you're in a situation and you don't see maybe somebody taking advantage of you, or you don't see somebody. Um, I don't know. You just start to see their true colors. And in this situation, the divine masculine was wearing this, it's almost like he had this cloud over him and he just couldn't see clearly. He couldn't see it through. He couldn't see it through at all because he, he couldn't see through at all because he was not awake. His eyes were closed. He was wearing a mask, literally. Well, this, this full moon, the mask is coming off. Anytime you see a raccoon out in public, um, when you get a raccoon card, it's saying masks are coming off. People are starting to wake up and have clarity. They're seeing clearly. This totally aligns with the, with the opening message that I was sharing with you guys. I just got guided to use Gabby Bernstein's um, The Universe Has Your Back deck. Whew, that rainbow energy got me good. Oh, I feel so good right now. It says true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. And maybe that's why I was crying. Maybe there's going to be immense emotions like resurfacing when somebody comes back to apologize or somebody is sharing their, their heart with you. And they're saying, you've been it all along and I've been holding it back, but I love you. <laughs> I've had a lot of clients going through that where, you know, maybe they're now getting divorced and they're going to be with somebody that they just met. Um, I have one friend who's just, I just found out she's getting divorced and she has, has been wanting a divorce for over two years now, but just didn't have the courage to do it. And the universe aligned it that her husband ended up coming to her and asking for the divorce, which made it so much easier. So it was almost like she was meant to hold on because it was his mission. He had to stand in his power and say, I choose better for myself. And in the end, it's best for both. And they have one son together and he's been so amazing and understands it. And is, it's just, it's unfolding so oddly perfectly. Um, but it's almost like 
she wasn't meant to because it was, it was supposed to be his job to stand in his power and choose himself. And she had to kind of go through this little like suffering phase. So true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. And this could also mean I did a reading last night with a young girl who has PTSD and has some situations in her life that she's seen and that she's been in where it was something that a human shouldn't see. My throat chakra is going nuts and sending her so, so much love right now, because there's some people that walk through this earth and they've seen so many difficult things that I, my eyes have never seen. And I only have my experience with watching my daughter and my dad pass away. And that's only two things. There's other people think about like police officers or firefighters or people that deal in trauma centers, nurses, doctors, they've seen so many tragic things. It's like, how do they continue to walk through earth feeling it? Like having that live in their body and, and just kind of like detaching and not living and not remembering it and not, you know, shoving it down. But the true healing really occurs when we start to talk about those situations, when we have small conversations and we bring it to the surface and that's when we can release it. And if there's ever a situation where you end up crying about it when you're by yourself, allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to experience that. Okay, we're gonna use the Work Your Light deck. The two just dropped out. We have Get Grounded and Take a Leap. <laughs> two totally different cards one saying jump and one saying get on the ground get grounded says empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so in reality we know that that getting grounded doesn't mean don't take a leap it means just you know ground yourself prepare yourself um connect with the earth recharge and then we have leap you go first the universe will catch you two beautiful cards i love the flowers in this card you can see all the angels or the um <clears throat> nature you can see the faces in the trees these are all your spirit guides talking to you and your leap is around the new the full moon look at the full moon behind her head so if you're feeling called to cut a cord to leave a relationship to break free from a business partnership um, to leave a job to start something new this is the best time to do it your guides are saying you can leap it's safe and I just got done doing a reading with a wonderful friend of mine and we became friends because he was my client first and now we're friends. Um, but we were just talking about him cutting a cord from his ex. So he's still in business with his ex-wife and that energy is still around him. And they have a few different business opportunities together. And he's been feeling like this is mine. Like I'm, I'm the one with the gift. I'm the one with the talent that we're trying to put out to the world. And she's just kind of behind the scenes doing the, the least amount of work, but yet she's getting 50% of what they're creating. And he's like sitting on the reading going like, what should I do? What are my guides telling me to do? And I told him, you know, just sit with it, meditate with it, ask yourself how your body would feel if you were to leap and say, I'm doing this on my own. And it might be hard at first because the conversation is hard. It's difficult to break free from somebody and to break up business, break up with somebody, but the leap after you leap, oh, the feeling that you get, you're just like, oh, I'm on my own. I don't have to answer to anybody. I'm finally freaking free, even in a business partnership. <clears throat> so that could be that energy for some of you. You can do it. You can take the leap. And if you need help, book a session with me, even if it's just 30 minutes, I can help you find that courage and give you the tips that I use when I take leaps of faith. They're so perfect. So feel free to book a session with me if you need help. And then the get grounded card. Again, I just got a message when I was talking about the leap. When I, you guys, when I'm, I'm learning more about myself and my mind, and I always used to beat myself up as a kid because I would always be in my mind and like different streams of thought. So like just then I was in a stream of thought, I think of like a little, little portals <laughs> in my brain. So there's one portal over here and I'm talking about the leap card, but then over here in another portal, I was just like, oh, there's a message about the get grounded card. I got to remember to tell them this. So it's like, you're thinking on all these different thought streams. 
I always thought I was crazy and ADD and I couldn't pay attention or people were saying stuff in class and I could never remember the information, but it's because I was an intuitive and I was always on other streams of thought, but I didn't know that it was okay and it was normal. So if this is happening to you, if you're in the conversation with somebody or if you're being recorded in a session, you're talking about one thing and then your mind's telling you to remember another thing. And then you're like looking at that candle going, oh, it smells so good in here. You're just a multi-dimensional dimensional being on different thought forms and different thought streams. You're normal. We are energetic beings. We can do and be in multiple places at one time. We are really magic. And I don't, I don't astral travel or anything like that. I'm a little nervous to do that, but I kind of want to try. But um, I try not to leave my body too much during meditation and stuff. I'm always like, keep me here. I just want to like see things and know maybe like what's coming. I just want to get messages. I don't ever want to like leave and go travel and visit and see what's going to happen in the future where some people do that. Um, I'm afraid to leave my body. But, but anyway, our mind can be in different streams of thought at the same time. So don't think you're crazy. It's part of our spiritual connection. It's what we are capable of. We're, we're in these dense bodies and we are capable of so much more. And we just have to start accepting exactly how we are because we're beautiful as we are. And society tells us that we're crazy or, or we're silly or we're not supposed to be doing that or we have ADD and all these things. And I'm not saying there's not ADD, but if we can embrace it and say, wow, this is my special gift. How can I channel it and use it for good? Getting back to the grounded card, which is what I was thinking about in the other stream of thought. I heard that September is going to be, especially from the, the full moon until like the end of the month. It's going to be an, a time where we need to ground ourselves. So underbook yourself at work, stay away from any negative people, be in your bubble, be out in nature as much as you can. If there's any heightened fighting or like we talked about, people are going to be cutting cords. They're going to be taking leaps. They're going to be breaking up with people. The people that they're breaking up with might not be happy. So you have to distance yourself from those situations you know, be the person that's taking the leap, have the conversation, but then have a boundary and respect yourself and give yourself time to process the new change. Go to people that fill your cup up. You know, if you're going through a breakup or a divorce, put yourself in an environment to hang out with people that are going to hold space for you. They're going to let you cry about it. They're going to let you not talk about it and just be there and be like, okay, whatever you want to feel right now, you can feel I got you. We can talk about the weather. We can talk about uh, a football game, whatever. But having those people that can support you um, is huge. And that's part of getting grounded, being in your own space, your own energy at the end of every night, taking baths, using lavender water, using Palo Santo, sage, doing what you need to do to come back to your own energy. And I just heard Angel Deck. And I'm feeling a little tired, like I just got really exhausted out of nowhere. So I think this is going to be our last card. You are loved. So somebody in the angelic realm is telling you that you are safe and you are loved. And during this, this um, maybe breakup or you're cutting cords or you're going through a really difficult change in your life, you have support all around you. You might not see it. He's got his head down. He's got this flower behind his back. But he, there's an offering coming for you. There's a gift. I just heard it again, that first card, Archangel Hope. There is a gift coming for you. So if you have to take a leap of faith, guess what happens right when you leap? There's a magic carpet that comes and catches you. And it could be a new person. It could be money. It could be this amazing opportunity that you didn't see coming because the offering, the rose or flower represents an offering. Like, here you go, the universe handing you something. It's behind his back. He doesn't see it coming. But he has to leap anyway and know that he is loved and he is taken care of. What a beautiful message. Archangel Hope. This full moon is all about new beginnings, new people, an equal give and take in relationship. A masculine energy taking off his mask seeing things clearly, or she is seeing things clearly. 
And there's going to be a surprise. There's going to be a rainbow at the end of all of this. So ground yourself through it all, okay? And if your person who you love is going through something difficult, you have to ground yourself for them. When two people are connected at the heart, they feel each other's energy. And if you're currently not together, you can ground yourself for them at a distance. You can take long walks in nature. You can take good baths. You can cleanse your aura. And you are doing the energetic work for both of you if you're, if you're interconnected. So always remember that you can energetically work on you and simultaneously be helping your partner if you've already merged and you already have that soul bond. All right, lovies, I am sending you so much love. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And I cannot wait to see what you all come back and comment with or send me an email. Let me know if you experience any type of awesome manifestation, rainbow, new love, new opportunity, new money this weekend. I'll be back on Sunday to do a reading for the upcoming week. This was just a reading for the full moon tomorrow on September 10th. All right, lovies. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.